Welcome everyone. In this video, we will see how you can use Data Snipper to perform Form 5500 reconciliation procedures. In this use case, we're going to be extracting data from the filled out Form 5500 using the Data Snipper's featured templates and then reconciling it to our trial balance and financial statements. This can be very time consuming and repetitive due to the large amount of data involved, which needs to be cross checked. In addition, the importance of this test makes it a required testing for every audit performed, thus very recurring. For the work steps, we're going to first extract the filled-in Form 5500 data using the featured form extraction templates that DataSnipper provides. The second step will be to check for differences between the Form 5500 data and the trial balance in our Excel. The third and final step is to reconcile the Form 5500 and trial balance data to the financial statements. In the Excel workbook, we've set up a testing table with a trial balance as well as columns in which we will reconcile our Form 5500 data to the trial balance data to make sure that there are no differences, and the trial balance data to the financial statements. We've pre-configured some formulas to pull all extracted amounts into the correct classes to match the Form 5500 to the trial balance. We've also sorted our documents into separate folders. Let's begin our test. Navigate to the Document Extraction drop-down menu and select Form Extraction. In the Form Extraction window, click on the Form 5500 featured template and select your client's 5500 form. All pre-configured extractions will be added to the document you've chosen. Click Export to Excel. With the formulas pulling the extracted data automatically, we can now easily check and reconcile this data to the trial balance. For any question on the formulas, please see the instruction on the Formula Instructions page. For the second part of our test, we'll open Document Matching and start new document matching. Select the trial balance data as your sample, as well as the financial statement folder. In our input and output table, we'll make sure to set it up as we want our output to show in the worksheet. We'll also set a threshold amount of 1 for the year-to-date input to account for rounding differences. Now, simply click on Match All Rows. The only thing left to do is review the snipped information by hovering over the cells and automatically seeing the cross-referenced data to the source documents. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to check out our knowledge base to learn more. Happy snipping!